أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را This is a scripture the revelations whereof are perfected and then expounded It cometh from one wise informed Saying serve none but Allah Lo I am unto you from him a warner and a bringer of good tidings And bidding you Ask pardon of your Lord and turn to him repentant. He will cause you to enjoy a fair estate until a time appointed. He giveth his bounty unto every bountiful one. But if ye turn away, lo then, I fear for you the retribution of an awful day. Unto Allah is your return, and he is able to do all things. Lo, now they fold up their breasts that they may hide their thoughts from him. At the very moment when they cover themselves with their clothing, Allah knoweth that which they keep hidden and that which they proclaim. Lo, he is aware of what is in the breasts of men. And there is not a beast in the earth, but the sustenance thereof dependeth on Allah. He knoweth its habitation and its repository. All is in a clear record. And he it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was upon the water, that he might try you, which of you is best in conduct. Yet if thou, O Muhammad, sayest, Lo, ye will be raised again after death, those who disbelieve will surely say, This is naught but mere magic. And if we delay for them the doom until a reckoned time, they will surely say, What withholdeth it? Verily on the day when it cometh unto them, it cannot be averted from them, and that which they derided will surround them. And if we cause man to taste some mercy from us, and afterward withdraw it from him, lo, he is despairing, thankless. And if we cause him to taste grace after some misfortune that had befallen him, he saith, The ills have gone from me, lo, he is exultant, boastful. Save those who persevere and do good works, theirs will be forgiveness and a great reward. A likely thing that thou wouldst forsake aught of that which hath been revealed unto thee, and that thy breast should be straightened for it, because they say, Why hath not a treasure been sent down for him, or an angel come with him? Thou art but a warner, and Allah is in charge of all things. Or they say, He hath invented it, Say, then bring ten surahs the like thereof, invented, and call on every one ye can beside Allah, if ye are truthful. And if they answer not your prayer, then know that it is revealed only in the knowledge of Allah, and that there is no God save Him. Will ye then be of those who surrender? Whoso desireth the life of the world and its pomp, we shall repay them their deeds herein, and therein they will not be wronged. Those are they for whom is naught in the hereafter save the fire. All that they contrive here is vain, and all that they are wont to do is fruitless. Is he to be counted equal with them who relieth on a clear proof from his Lord, and a witness from him reciteth it? And before it was the book of Moses, an example and a mercy? Such believe therein, and whoso disbelieveth therein of the clans, the fire is his appointed place. So be not thou in doubt concerning it. Lo, it is the truth from thy Lord, but most of mankind believe not. Who doth greater wrong than he who inventeth a lie concerning Allah? Such will be brought before their Lord, and the witnesses will say, These are they who lied concerning their Lord. Now the curse of Allah is upon wrongdoers, who debar men from the way of Allah, and would have it crooked, and who are disbelievers in the hereafter. Such will not escape in the earth, nor have they any protecting friends beside Allah. For them the torment will be double. They could not bear to hear, and they used not to see. Such are they who have lost their souls, and that which they used to invent hath failed them. Assuredly, in the hereafter, they will be the greatest losers. Lo, those who believe and do good works and humble themselves before their Lord, such are rightful owners of the garden, they will abide therein. 
The similitude of the two parties is as the blind and the deaf and the seer and the hearer. Are they equal in similitude? Will ye not then be admonished? And we sent Noah unto his folk, and he said, Lo, I am a plain warner unto you. That ye serve none save Allah, lo, I fear for you the retribution of a painful day. The chieftains of his folk who disbelieved said, We see thee but a mortal like us, and we see not that any follow thee, save the most abject among us, without reflection. We behold in you no merit above us, nay, we deem you liars. He said, O my people, bethink you, if I rely on a clear proof from my Lord, and there hath come unto me a mercy from his presence, and it hath been made obscure to you, can we compel you to accept it, when ye are averse thereto? And, O my people, I ask of you no wealth, therefore, my reward is the concern only of Allah, and I am not going to thrust away those who believe. Lo, they have to meet their Lord, but I see you a folk that are ignorant. And, O my people, who would deliver me from Allah if I thrust them away? Will ye not then reflect? I say not unto you, I have the treasures of Allah, nor I have knowledge of the unseen, nor say I, lo, I am an angel, nor say I unto those whom your eyes scorn that Allah will not give them good. Allah knoweth best what is in their hearts. Lo, then indeed I should be of the wrongdoers. They said, O Noah, thou hast disputed with us and multiplied disputation with us. Now bring upon us that wherewith thou threatenest us, if thou art of the truthful. He said, Only Allah will bring it upon you if he will, and ye can by no means escape. My counsel will not profit you if I were minded to advise you, if Allah's will is to keep you astray. He is your Lord, and unto him ye will be brought back. Or say they again, He hath invented it? Say, If I have invented it, upon me be my crimes, but I am innocent of all that ye commit. And it was inspired in Noah, saying, No one of thy folk will believe save him who hath believed already. Be not distressed because of what they do. Build the ship under our eyes and by our inspiration, and speak not unto me on behalf of those who do wrong. Lo, they will be drowned. And he was building the ship, and every time the chieftains of his people passed him, they made mock of him. He said, Though ye make mock of us, yet we mock at you even as ye mock. And ye shall know to whom a punishment that will confound him cometh, and upon whom a lasting doom will fall. Thus it was, till when our commandment came to pass, and the oven gushed forth water, we said, Load therein two of every kind, a pair, the male and female, and thy household, save him against whom the word hath gone forth already, and those who believe, and but a few were they who believed with him. And he said, Embark therein, in the name of Allah, be its cause and its mooring. Lo, my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And it sailed with them amid waves like mountains, and Noah cried unto his son, and he was standing aloof, O my son, come ride with us, and be not with the disbelievers. He said, I shall betake me to some mountain that will save me from the water. Noah said, This day there is none that saveth from the commandment of Allah, save him on whom he hath had mercy. And the wave came in between them, so he was among the drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow thy water, and O sky, be cleared of clouds. And the water was made to subside, and the commandment was fulfilled. And it the ship came to rest upon the mount Al-Judi, and it was said, A far removal for wrongdoing folk. And Noah cried unto his Lord, and said, My Lord, lo, my son is of my household, surely thy promise is the truth, and thou art the most just of judges. He said, O Noah, lo, he is not of thy household, lo, he is of evil conduct, so ask not of me that whereof thou hast no knowledge. I admonish thee, lest thou be among the ignorant. He said, 
My Lord, lo, in thee do I seek refuge from the sin that I should ask of thee, that whereof I have no knowledge. Unless thou forgive me and have mercy on me, I shall be among the lost. It was said unto him, O Noah, go thou down from the mountain with peace from us and blessings upon thee, and some nations that will spring from those with thee. There will be other nations unto whom we shall give enjoyment a long while, and then a painful doom from us will overtake them. This is of the tidings of the unseen which we inspire in thee, Muhammad. Thou thyself knewest it not, nor did thy folk know it before this. Then have patience. Lo, the sequel is for those who ward off evil. And unto the tribe of Ard we sent their brother Hud. He said, O my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. Lo, ye do but invent. O my people, I ask of you no reward for it. Lo, my reward is the concern only of him who made me. Have ye then no sense? And, O oh my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn unto him repentant. He will cause the sky to rain abundance on you, and will add unto you strength to your strength. Turn not away guilty. They said, O oh Hud, thou hast brought us no clear proof, and we are not going to forsake our gods on thy mere saying, and we are not believers in thee. We say not, save that one of our gods hath possessed thee in an evil way. He said, I call Allah to witness, and do ye too bear witness that I am innocent of all that ye ascribe as partners to Allah. Besides him, so try to circumvent me, all of you, give me no respite. Lo, I have put my trust in Allah, my Lord and your Lord, not an animal, but he doth grasp it by the forelock. Lo, my Lord is on the straight path. And if ye turn away, still I have conveyed unto you that wherewith I was sent unto you, and my Lord will set in place of you a folk other than you. Ye cannot injure him at all. Lo, my Lord is guardian over all things. And when our commandment came to pass, we saved Hud and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, we saved them from a harsh doom. And such were Ard. They denied the revelations of their Lord and flouted his messengers and followed the command of every froward potentate. And a curse was made to follow them in the world and on the day of resurrection. Lo, Ard disbelieved in their Lord, a far removal for Ard, the folk of Hud. And unto the tribe of Thamud we sent their brother Saleh. He said, O my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him. He brought you forth from the earth and had made you husbanded. So ask forgiveness of him and turn unto him repentant. Lo, my Lord is nigh responsive. They said, O Saleh, thou hast been among us hitherto as that wherein our hope was placed. Dost thou ask us not to worship what our fathers worshipped? Lo, we verily are in great doubt concerning that to which thou callest us. He said, O my people, bethink you if I am acting on clear proof from my Lord, and there hath come unto me a mercy from him, who will save me from Allah if I disobey him? Ye would add to me naught save perdition. O my people, this is the camel of Allah, a token unto you, so suffer her to feed in Allah's earth and touch her not with harm, lest a near torment seize you. But they hamstrung her, and then he said, Enjoy life in your dwelling place three days. This is a threat that will not be belied. So when our commandment came to pass, we saved Saleh and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, from the ignominy of that day. Lo, thy Lord, he is the strong, the mighty. And the awful cry overtook those who did wrong, so that morning found them prostrate in their dwellings, as though they had not dwelt there. Lo, Thamud disbelieved in their Lord, a far removal for Thamud. And our messengers came unto Abraham with good news. They said, Peace. He answered, Peace, and delayed not to bring a roasted calf. And when he saw their hands reached not to it, he mistrusted them and conceived a fear of them. They said, Fear not. Lo, we are sent unto the folk of Lot. 
and his wife standing by laughed when we gave her good tidings of the birth of Isaac and after Isaac of Jacob. He said, Oh, woe is me! Shall I bear a child when I am an old woman, and this my husband is an old man? Lo, this is a strange thing. They said, Wonderest thou at the commandment of Allah? The mercy of Allah and his blessings be upon you, O people of the house. Lo, he is owner of praise, owner of glory. And when the awe departed from Abraham and the glad news reached him, he pleaded with us on behalf of the folk of Lot. Lo, Abraham was mild, imploring, penitent. It was said, O Abraham, forsake this, lo, thy Lord's commandment hath gone forth, and lo, there cometh unto them a doom which cannot be repelled. And when our messengers came unto Lot, he was distressed, and knew not how to protect them. He said, This is a distressful day. And his people came unto him running towards him, and before then they used to commit abominations. He said, O oh my people, here are my daughters, they are purer for you. Beware of Allah, and degrade me not in the presence of my guests. Is there not among you any upright man? He said, Well thou knowest that we have no right to thy daughters, and well thou knowest what we want. He said, Would that I had strength to resist you, or had some strong support among you. The messenger said, O Lot, Lo, we are messengers of thy Lord, they shall not reach thee, so travel with thy people in a part of the night, and let not one of you turn round, all save thy wife. Lo, that which smiteth them will smite her also. Lo, their tryst is for the morning, is not the morning nigh? So when our commandment came to pass, we overthrew that township, and rained upon it stones of clay, one after another. Mark with fire in the providence of thy Lord for the destruction of the wicked, and they are never far from the wrongdoers. And unto Midian we sent their brother Shuaib. He said, O my people, serve Allah. Ye have no other God save him, and give not short measure and short weight. Lo, I see you well to do, and lo, I fear for you the doom of a besetting day. O oh my people, give full measure and full weight in justice, and wrong not people in respect of their goods, and do not evil in the earth, causing corruption. That which Allah leaveth with you is better for you, if ye are believers, and I am not a keeper over you. They said, O Shuaib, doth thy way of prayer command these that we should forsake that which our fathers used to worship, or that we should leave off doing what we will with our own property? Lo, thou art the mild, the guide to right behavior. He said, O my people, bethink you, if I am acting on a clear proof from my Lord, and he sustaineth me with fair sustenance from him, how can I concede aught to you? I desire not to do behind your backs that which I ask you not to do. I desire naught, save reform, so far as I am able. My welfare is only in Allah. In him I trust, and unto him I turn repentant. And, O oh my people, let not the schism with me cause you to sin, so that there befall you that which befell the folk of Noah, and the folk of Hud, and the folk of Saleh, and the folk of Lot, are not far off from you. Ask pardon of your Lord, and then turn unto him repentant. Lo, my Lord is merciful, loving. They said, O oh Shweb, we understand not much of that thou tellest, and lo, we do behold thee weak among us, but for thy family we should have stoned thee, for thou art not strong against us. He said, O my people, is my family more to be honored by you than Allah? And ye put him behind you neglected. Lo, my Lord surroundeth what ye do. And O my people, act according to your power. Lo, I too am acting. Ye will soon know on whom there cometh a doom that will abase him, and who it is that lieth. And watch, lo, I am a watcher with you. And when our commandment came to pass, we saved Shweb and those who believed with him by a mercy from us. And the awful cry seized those who did injustice, and mourning found them prostrate in their dwellings. As though they had not dwelt there, a far removal for Midian, even as Thamud had been removed afar. 
and verily we sent Moses with our revelations and a clear warrant unto Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they did follow the command of Pharaoh, and the command of Pharaoh was no right guide. He will go before his people on the day of resurrection, and will lead them to the fire for watering place. Ah, hapless is the watering place, whither they are led. A curse is made to follow them in the world, and on the day of resurrection, hapless is the gift that will be given them. That is something of the tidings of the townships which were destroyed of old. We related unto thee, Muhammad, some of them are standing and some already reaped. We wronged them not, but they did wrong themselves, and their gods in whom they call beside Allah availed them naught. When came thy Lord's command, they added to them naught save ruin. Even thus is the grasp of thy Lord when he graspeth the townships while they are doing wrong. Lo, his grasp is painful, very strong. Lo, herein verily there is a portent for those who fear the doom of the hereafter. That is a day unto which mankind will be gathered, and that is a day that will be witnessed. And we defer it only as a term already reckoned. On the day when it cometh no soul will speak except by his permission. Some among them will be wretched, others glad. As for those who will be wretched on that day, they will be in the fire, sighing and wailing will be their portion therein. Abiding there so long as the heavens and the earth endure, save for that which thy Lord willeth, lo, thy Lord is doer of what he will. And as for those who will be glad that day, they will be in the garden, abiding there so long as the heavens and the earth endure, save for that which thy Lord willeth, a gift unfailing. So be not thou in doubt concerning that which these folk worship. They worship only as their fathers worshipped aforetime. Lo, we shall pay them their whole due unabated. And we verily gave unto Moses the scripture, and there was strife thereupon, and had it not been for a word that had already gone forth from thy Lord, the case would have been judged between them, and lo, they are in grave doubt concerning it. And lo, unto each thy Lord will verily repay his works in full. Lo, he is informed of what they do. So tread thou the straight path as thou art commanded, and those who turn unto Allah with thee and transgress not. Lo, he is seer of what ye do. And incline not toward those who do wrong, lest the fire touch you, and ye have no protecting friends against Allah, and afterward ye would not be helped. Establish worship at the two ends of the day and in some watches of the night. Lo, good deeds annul ill deeds. This is a reminder for the mindful. And have patience, O Muhammad, for lo, Allah loseth not the wages of the good. If only there had been among the generations before you men possessing a remnant of good sense to warn their people from corruption in the earth, as did a few of those whom we saved from them, the wrongdoers followed that by which they were made sapless and were guilty. In truth, thy Lord destroyed not the townships tyrannously while their folk were doing right. And if thy Lord had willed, he verily would have made mankind one nation, yet they cease not deferring. Save him on whom thy Lord hath mercy, and for that he did create them, and the word of thy Lord hath been fulfilled. Verily, I shall fill hell with the jinn and mankind together. And all that we relate unto thee of the story of the messengers is in order that thereby we may make firm thy heart. And herein hath come unto thee the truth and an exhortation and a reminder for believers. And say unto those who believe not, Act according to your power. Lo, we too are acting. And wait, lo, we too are waiting. And Allah's is the invisible of the heavens and the earth, and unto him the whole matter will be returned. So worship him, and put thy trust in him. Lo, thy Lord is not unaware of what ye mortals do.